Hello and welcome to the Ramblings of a 42-Year-Old Man. Chris Smith here with you today. Uh, we're going to pause from our uh, our week-long, it seems like, Final Fantasy VI coverage to uh, come back to just a quick rambling about a movie I watched the other night. Um, so, the day that I went to see Cocaine Bear out in theaters, I'm walking down the theater um, kind of entryway, and they always have posters you know, spread out across the wall. And I saw this poster for this movie I had never heard of until this moment. It was called Hunt Her, Kill Her. And um, the cover is, as you see here, the poster is just kind of this uh, creepy mask and, uh, you know, very, you know, your standard kind of kind of horror poster. But I, I had never heard anything about it. So um, I remember I took a picture of the poster as I walked by. I'm like, I'm going to have to look into whatever this is because it's very rare that I haven't heard of some sort of a horror movie before it comes out. Um, so anyway, I watched Cocaine Bear. That was a great movie, a lot of fun. And um, and then I looked to see, oh my goodness, this, this movie I hadn't heard of is starting next week. What the heck? So uh, looked at, looking into it a little bit, it is, you know, a, a micro budget, very small film. Uh, these two guys, um, Ryan's, let's see, it's Ryan Theason and Greg Swinson have been working on it for a number of years, trying to get it off the ground. They actually had a, a version of it put together that they screened at a um, kind of a film uh, festival. And it got picked up for distribution from uh, this new kind of horror uh, production company called Welcome Villain that I'd never heard of before either. So this is kind of like their branch out into things. So uh, they gave them a little bit more money, let them kind of redo the movie with a little more uh, of what they were looking for, maybe, you know, slightly more effects and stuff like that. And then they were able to release it in theaters. It's getting a pretty limited theatrical release. It was just at one theater in my area, but I was able to, to get out to it and see it. Um, and I'll tell you what, I enjoyed the heck out of this movie. Um, it's nothing fancy, it's nothing crazy about it. It is, you know, it's not some high concept craziness or anything. It's it's pretty much a, uh, a a stalker in a single location kind of movie. Like think of a, a P2 or um, even like your home invasion movies like the, like the Strangers, but this is in a factory is the, the one location. And uh, I think it was really well done. And uh, maybe because I was so kind of unprepared for it and surprised maybe you know it, it helped me not have any super high expectations for it i just enjoyed it I, I i'll be honest i've gone into a couple movie theaters this year on movies that i hadn't heard much about and was not impressed this one i was very impressed by i enjoyed it quite a bit so uh, again this is called hunter kill her it um has a theatrical release at right now this weekend very limited so um i'm sure it will be a digital release in just a few weeks they seem to be doing these uh theater to digital is really quick nowadays i'm sure it will be but um directed by Ryan Theason and Greg Swinson. Small production. Um, Ryan Theason is also the editor and the director of photography. Greg Swinson was the writer. So, you know, th these two guys pretty much made this movie just themselves, trying to get it uh, put together. Um, and it stars Natalie Terzino as a night shift janitor worker. This is her first night working in this uh, factory. And within like maybe a couple hours of her starting this this night shift, she realizes that she's not the only one in the factory. And um, we'll give away much more after that, but it does turn into kind of cat and mouse hiding throughout this factory. They, now they shot this in an actual uh, factory um, that when the workers would go home for night, the, the movie crew would come in and they would shoot this uh, during, the, during the nights. And you can tell the factory floor itself you know is very realistic and the places where you would have to hide in this factory are again very realistic little little side off closets for storage or little tiny bathrooms and stuff like you know it definitely felt like a real place which just i think kind of added to some of the the atmosphere and the claustrophobia that you had with the this kind of a movie and um you know the lead actress on uh, uh Natalie Terzino, she she was good. She wasn't, you know, it's not going to be like the acting performance of the year or anything, but she was very believable as, you know, this this woman who's on her kind of her first night at this job. She's obviously doing this because she's got a little girl at home, and um, you, you even kind of see, like, she had to really struggle to find somebody to watch her little girl for her while she's working this shift. She's got a neighbor watching her, and so you, you could tell there's, there's a reason why she's having to do this. And, uh, you know, she she's doing her job. She's doing everything the way it's supposed to be done, and then all of a sudden craziness kind of ensues and uh um i would say that as you can see from the uh, the poster the mask uh that the uh, stalker wears in this uh, uh movie is really cool looking too it does a good job of uh you know conveying the uh the seriousness of this person this person is not to be messed with you know <laughs> but um really good really tight just hour and a half movie um I like these kind of just, just tight thrillers and uh, where you're really just kind of following a character as they're trying to run for their lives and then 
turn the tables and all of a sudden you know there, there's kind of a flip where all of a sudden the uh the person who's being stalked is the one who's fighting back and i, I like those kind of movies a lot that's pretty much the genesis of halloween which is my favorite horror movie of all time so i mean that's I'm, I'm a sucker for these kind of films but i love it when a movie can surprise me and just come from nowhere to all of a sudden i'm, I'm in the theater watching I'm like this is really good i'm enjoying this a lot by the time credits rolling i'm like i really like that movie that was really good so uh, again it's called hunt her kill her and um very limited in theaters. If you have trouble finding it, I'm sure it will be out on digital release fairly soon, uh, either on a streaming service or, you know, you could probably rent it on Prime or something in the very near future. But um, I'm interested to see if uh, this does well enough that these guys get another chance to make uh, make something else. This is their second movie. Uh, their first movie was another very, very small micro budget film back in 2006. So they've been kind of putting this together for a long time. But their 2006 film was called uh, Five Across the Eyes. Had not seen that yet, but... Um, you know, being that that was almost, I mean, what, 15 years ago at this point? I mean, that that's, it took them a long time to get this second feature off the ground. I'm very happy for them that they were able to, and I think they did a wonderful job. I hope they're able to continue uh, and make some other things as well and uh, see what else they have going, going forward. Um, so one last time, Hunter Killer, out right now in theaters. Hopefully they'll be out on digital very soon. Um, it's not, not super bloody, not super gory, just kind of a tense thriller uh, for anybody who would like that kind of a movie. It was really good. So thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you again soon.